General ledger enhancements include reporting the Disaster Emergency Fund Code per the GTAS and Data Act. PeopleSoft Inventory enhances the manual count process by allowing you to select one of the user-defined fields as search criteria when creating a counting event. The Item Selection window displays the items that match the specified criteria. Use the Item ID and Description fields to narrow the item list. You can select individual or multiple items. If there is an inventory shortage, the material reservation process searches for one or more substitution items in priority order until the demand is met. If there is unfulfilled quantity, a back order is created based on the reservation rule. This completes the COVID-19 features description. The Customer Contracts homepage now includes contract analytics using Kibana visualizations, providing insight into the number, size, and duration of your active contract base. The Contract Analytics dashboard targets active contracts, identifies lines of business, schools, and areas of research that are expanding, and others that are shrinking. You can filter the dashboard to a specific area of the organization by clicking on a particular business unit, region, or individual contract administrator. The two remaining duration visualizations identify the average duration and remaining days left on your contracts. They show where contract terms are changing and which customers and agencies are issuing longer contracts. Other visualizations compare contract backlog and future cash flow across lines of business. This tag cloud displays the 30 largest contracts started in the last 30 days. The All Active Contracts visualization provides contract details in a grid format. The Financial Position Trending and Financial Performance Analysis Kibana dashboards help organizations analyze their financial position and performance. The General Ledger Operational Insights dashboard allows you to analyze operational performance. Use the Financial Position Trending dashboard to analyze the financial position of transactions within a selected time frame. This dashboard provides visual understanding of trends and patterns for financial transactions. It also displays top performing accounts. You can drill down into five levels of account tree data and three levels of department tree data for detailed analysis. The Financial Position Trending Dashboard displays 12 months of data and provides drill down capabilities. Actual, posted, and unposted journals are included and statistical journal entries are excluded. The Financial Performance Analysis Dashboard provides insight into the yearly financial performance of a business. You can select a base currency, a ledger, or a business unit to compare the financial balances among the fiscal years selected. Use controls to slice and dice the ledger index. Date and time ranges are not used. Closing journals are filtered, and statistical journal entries are excluded. The General Ledger Operational Insights Dashboard provides journal volume trends. You can filter data based on the header business unit. The dashboard focuses on all journal transactions created in the last 12 months. Statistical journal entries are excluded. This dashboard also includes journals across date and time entered and journal count by status for top 20 users visualizations. This completes our demonstration of the Kibana visualizations for contract and general ledger. FSCM provides a new run control delete framework with image 37. This framework allows you to delete run control IDs that are no longer used. You can view existing run control delete requests and take action, such as editing or deleting requests. You can also add new requests. Select individual rows to view a delete request summary. 
You can also update delete request details if it hasn't been submitted for deletion. On the Run Control page, add user IDs for run control data that needs to be deleted. And users can only delete their own run controls, while administrators can delete run controls created by any user. Select Run Control Components with Run Control Data that needs to be deleted. Use the Review and Delete page to review and delete the selected run control data. Review the processing details for the deleted run control data. The Run Control Delete page lists the delete request status as submitted until the processing is complete. This completes our demonstration of the Run Control Management feature. The Delegation Framework allows you to choose a proxy who can approve certain transactions on your behalf. Purchase orders and supplier contract management documents and clauses are now available for this feature. PeopleSoft FSCM plans to add more transactions in future images. This completes the Delegation Framework for Purchasing and Supplier Contract Management feature description. PeopleSoft eProcurement enhances the features shown on the screen. With the new search option on the Browse Catalogs page, you can search for an item across all categories or a specific category, such as Catalog, Favorites, Templates, and Web Suppliers. View Price Adjustments for a Schedule by clicking the Price Adjustments icon on the Schedule Detail page. It shows how the current price of the item is calculated. If substitutes exist for an item, search results display the substitute item link. The substitute items window displays all the substitutes defined for the original item. When you have substitute items defined for the original item, the line details page displays the substitute item search option. The substitute items window displays the original item and its substitute. Also, you can manually override the auto-substituted item if setup allows. Use the Contract Search option on the Line Details page to add contracts to the requisition line. The Receive All Ship To Role action allows a casual user to receive all requisitions for all Ship To's. Users assigned to this role action can view the Ship To column on the Receive Items page. The Invoice Number field is available on the Manage Requisition and Purchase Order Inquiry pages. The Amount Only option is available on the Special Requests and Checkout pages. Select this option to indicate a requisition line is Amount Only. On the Special Requests page, you can view the Amount Only option if the requester has the Amount Only Special Request Role action assigned and enabled. The Checkout page displays the Amount Only option only if the requester has the Amount Only Lines role action assigned and enabled. This completes the e-procurement features description. The Fluid e-bill payment customer hierarchy allows you to visualize the customer hierarchy chart, analyze current balances, and view related invoice information for customers. It's similar to the classic version, but with the added advantage of PeopleSoft Fluid technology, including mobile access from your tablet and the ability to analyze customer invoice information. Use the Related Actions dropdown next to a customer to view statements, account summary, invoice, and invoice to pay information for that customer. The Invoice Balance links allow you to drill into customer invoice information. Use the Overdue Balance link to view and analyze customer overdue balance information. Use the Account Balance link to view and analyze customer account balance history. And use the Account Balance Rollup link to view and analyze rollup account information by customer. This completes the e-bill payment customer hierarchy feature description.
you can now send email notifications for transactions using the Fluid Treasury Work Center. On the Treasury Work Center page, use the Related Actions menu to access the email notification page. You have to set up Email Notification Framework to view the email notification page. You can notify one or more users of an action they need to take for one or more transactions. The system adds the email text based on the transaction selected on the Work Center page. You can decide which fields to display in the email notification. This completes our demonstration of the email notification for Treasury Work Center feature. PeopleSoft Purchasing enhances the purchase order acknowledgement process by adding the purchase order acknowledgements and purchase order acknowledgement history tiles to the Procurement Operations homepage. The PO Acknowledgements page lists both the online and EDX purchase order acknowledgements routed to a buyer. To streamline the review process, only purchase orders with changes are displayed by default. Additional filters are available to narrow search results. Select a purchase order acknowledgement to review its details and proceed with appropriate actions. You can view a supplier's response by selecting a purchase order line in the left pane. Changed fields are highlighted, making the review process much quicker. The page allows you to perform different actions, like view the purchase order document, enter or view supplier comments, view header information, reset to purchase order values, reject lines, and more. If the modifications are acceptable, you can proceed with approving the purchase order. The Purchase Order Acknowledgement History page lists the acknowledged purchase orders. Select a purchase order to view its historical acknowledgement information. This completes the Purchase Order Acknowledgement for Buyer Feature description. PeopleSoft Expenses added the use of accounting tags for the Fluid User Interface. Accounting tags are a quick way to populate the correct chart field segments into expense report and travel authorization accounting lines. And they ensure users populate accounting information with correct data for quicker approval and payment processing. This completes the accounting tags in expenses feature description. Journal Source Security restricts access to users based on the permission added to the user or role for a specific journal source. This functionality also restricts journal posting during period end based on the defined cutoff schedule. You must have access to the journal source to create or edit journals. The journal sources available for selection are based on your defined user access. To apply journal source security to set IDs, add them using the journal source security by set ID page. To enable journal source security for business units, use the journal source security by business unit page. Then, provide users with journal source access for the business unit and source combination using the journal source security by user page. After selecting the user, choose the business unit to provide source access. Finally, provide journal source access to specific roles on the journal source security page, then add the business unit. This allows you to restrict access to users based on the defined permissions for a specific journal source associated with the user or role. This functionality also restricts journal posting during period end processing based on the defined cutoff schedule. Define a period end cutoff schedule for a particular business unit, ledger, and fiscal year on the period end cutoff date definition page. Journal sources associated with the business unit that has a cutoff schedule are populated from the Journal Source Security business unit page. Journals can't be posted if the cutoff date is past the date defined on the period end cutoff definition page for the selected journal source. Because the journal post date is after the defined period end cutoff date, the system doesn't allow you to post the journal. This completes our demonstration of the Close Period by Journal Source feature. (music) 
you can now activate or deactivate a project template. When creating a new project from a template, filters are applied to include only active project templates. Use the Update Project Template Status pagelet to update the status for multiple project templates and mass as a single action. Select Refine Filter Criteria to narrow the list of project templates with end dates from the past. This completes the Project Template Status feature description. Asset Management and Maintenance Management enhance physical life tracking for an asset. Use the Physical Life Information section of the Manufacturer License Custodian page to track the physical life of an asset, determine the life expectancy of equipment, and plan for equipment replacement. The Replacement Date displays the estimated date that the asset should be replaced. The Life Expectancy Percent displays the current age of the asset expressed as a percent of total life expectancy. The Physical Life fields are part of the Asset Basic Add component, but they're also available in the Define Asset Operational Information component. The Import Data by Spreadsheet process allows you to enter asset transaction data offline using a spreadsheet application and then import the transaction data into asset management tables. To accomplish this, PeopleSoft Asset Management delivers spreadsheet templates that provide the framework and fields necessary to generate the required spreadsheet CSV file. With Image 37, Asset Management adds two new spreadsheet templates. Use the Transfer Assets template to transfer chart fields. Use the Asset Cost Adjustment by Amount template to adjust asset cost by amount. <music> Maintenance Management enhances the cost summarization process to identify on-hand purchasing actuals. The on-hand indicator allows you to determine the non-inventory items currently available for completing work order tasks. This completes the Asset Management Features description. Additional features added for FSCM Update Image 37 include People Tools Enhancements to the Ledger Balances Analysis, Account Reconciliation, and Receivables Pivot Grids, the ability to restart the BI Publisher process, Adherence to legislative changes to India GST for 2020 in billing, receivables, and payables, and the ability to correct a project status. We've only shown you the highlights of the features in this PeopleSoft update image. For more information about these features and the other enhancements, see the CFO tool, the update image overview on My Oracle Support, and go to the PeopleSoft Information Portal for updates.